Yo, what's good, y'all? We're back, dude. We're doing more war. This is war number seven now, I believe, of season 52. And it's going to be an interesting war, dude. <laughs> a very interesting one. So you can see, we are, we're swapping in Joe Fixit. Um, and full disclaimer, before this war, he was rank one. I literally I took him to rank two like 10 minutes before this war because I was assigned him. Um, you can see we're bringing in the goat Heimdall as well. And we have pretty scary war. We only have three fights total in the war. You can see here we skipped both section one and section two. And we're hopping in. This is my first time ever using Joe Fix It <laughs> in war. Um, I mean, I kind of had an idea of how he works. I'd never really played him before this. Um, I know you want to do the medium ending stuff to build up the, I think it's the spades to get more attack. Um, and then you want to get like four of them. And then you're going to do lots of damage. But yeah, um, we're starting off here. We have this Scarlet Witch sigil here. And we're just going to YOLO it with Joe. I, I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, I know you're not really supposed to parry with him because you get the diamonds and diamonds are bad because it's just block pen. Um, but I figured I'm going to parry heavy a few times so I get the extra combat power rate and get up to special 2 and just try to like stun mod her. But I think I didn't do it. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, I did it, but yeah, I forgot. Well, I mean, I knew that the tactic was going to do the thing. Um, yeah, I kind of just full set YOLO'd it. Um, I was like, okay, fine, one special 3 is not going to kill me. I did not have an interval on, I did have a greater special 3 defense boost on. And then I remembered that her special 3 degens you. Uh, but honestly, I mean, it's not degening me that hard, but I'm just full sending it. Um, yeah, that's kind of the theme today, just YOLO, full send. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was our first fire of the war. It went, went well, actually, you know, as good as can be expected for my first time using Joe. I know I wasn't optimizing him, but I just wanted to, to get the big special 2, get the special 1s going, um, and cook. So yeah, we're just moving up to this Maw, just to share some energy with the homies. Um, I will not be taking him. Um, so yeah, I think we're just going to back out here, and then chill. We're going on to the next one. There's the Sassy here, and we're gonna, we have our Cassie Masteries on. Um, so this Sassy, he's on the power efficiency node, so that's really good for Cassie, um, because they throw a lot of special attacks. One thing that's not good for Cassie here is the Vigilance, Feats of Vigilance, I think is, is what it's called. When you gain a bar of power, he's gonna get a Vigilance buff, which makes him unable to miss, which is, um, I mean, it's not the worst thing ever for Cassie. I've taken this node, like, a ton in the past using her. You just have to make sure you don't try to miss him while he has Vigilance. It's, it's pretty simple. Um, so yeah. We are just going to start with a parry heavy because we don't want to get cooked by the AI when they just dash back and hold the block because they're dumb. Um, but yeah, now we got him with the corner, so we're just going to try to build up stings. Um, it's going okay so far. Pretty good start. Um, he has the Vigilance, so we're not going to hold heavy now. We're just going to hit him. And yeah. Now we're going to get the taunt up, which is cool. And I think we're just going to... Yeah. We need to heavy him or we're going to get faltered. I think we just keep the falter and just wait it out. Actually, I don't know why I waited it out. Because I remember that you can't miss when you have heal block active. So, yeah, that, that happens. And you know, one unfortunate thing that happens here is he triggers Wrath really, really early. So, I didn't have that much time to build up that many stings. Which is unfortunate, kind of. Um, but... Oh, a funny happened here. <laughs> wait, <laughs> I remembered. So he was pushing me to the corner, and I was like, I'm going to use this opportunity to um, heavy charge and also build up some more stings while he throws the special too. Because I believe the wrath was ending, so he was not going to be... Yeah, he wasn't going to be unstoppable after this. So I'm like, heavy charge, but I don't heavy charge. I don't know, I failed the input or something. Maybe I was too slow, maybe I was too fast, and then I... I held heavy while I was still blocking, or I don't know. I don't know what happened, but you can see we ate the special tube, which it doesn't really matter because we have the interval on, but we got those ruptures on us, and those ruptures, they do more damage than I expected. Um, I don't think, my taunt was not on Sassy. I did have max inequity on still, so they're they're reduced by 36%, I believe, uh, from inequity. <laughs> but they were still taking a ton, bro. I lost half my health purely from the rupture damage. 
Um, which is crazy. If I didn't have an equity, I'd probably be dead there. Um, or I would be very close to being dead. But, yeah, I mean, it's fine. We're not dead. And, yeah, Sassy's being weird. But, I mean, the fight's under control. Like, I'm not gonna die here. He's just doing so many special attacks. It's, it's pretty safe. Um, as I said before, like, ideally I'd build up more stings on him at the start. He triggered Wrath of Grip way too early, so I didn't have time to before he, he started doing dumb sassy things. Um, so yeah, that's just me complaining about the Rupture damage, because that was a lot. Um, but it's fine, Cassie's a tank. So, yeah, that was our second fight. We have one more, and it's gonna be the boss. <laughs> Um, once I finish yapping. Cool. Okay, next up, we have this Enchantress boss here. We're switching back to our Joe Fixit Masteries. Um, just a little quick preview. I was just making sure everything's cool because I was a little bit nervous. Um, so yeah, we have Max Deep Boons, we have Full Suicides on. We're just gonna YOLO Full Send It and Cook. So, yeah, dude. <laughs> I was um, I was very nervous with this fight because Enchantress, she's not that bad until her AI starts doing some stupid stuff. <laughs> some very, 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 very stupid stuff. Um, so the plan here is I'm going to invul boost and I'm going to do my best to push her to special three because when she throws special ones, that's when you die. Um, she can literally make you disappear from like 100% health. To zero with one spe well i mean technically two special ones it but yeah well, if, she, if you hit her too much while she has her spells up then she's gonna reflect like everything back at you and you die so yeah we're starting off we're gonna beta heavy because that's what you're supposed to do and then we're gonna do that and we're gonna intercept her and then we need to get one little heavy off here to take the last spell off and the spells are gone so you know we're, we're starting off pretty well um, so we're gonna throw our special one here, knock her down, hold block, because we do not want her to throw this. So yeah, she did throw it, thankfully. Big shout out. Then we're gonna go special one again, and you know, she's at special three, which is great. That was perfect. That, that was the plan. We have three special threes we can keep taking no damage. And yeah, that went well. So we're gonna eat this. It's fine. No damage. And there's no spells on her, which is... Amazing. That's that's what's supposed to happen. So we're gonna do this relic. I think we need to combo her, and then we bait the heavy. So she does not throw the special one into her block, which is extremely baller. I'm very very thankful for that. Um, we're eating the second special three. So at this point, in the fight I'm like, bro, this this is easy. This is under control. It's going very well. <laughs> yep. Um, so we eat the special three. And then we're going to, we're going to combo, hard block right here because we don't want her to throw it. Combo, I think we're going to go relic, and then we're going to go special one. Oh, but then there, I forgot about the heal block. It fell off and I wasn't paying attention, so I missed, but I didn't get hit from it, which is good, thankfully. Uh, we recovered, we got, we got a special one off, so we got the heal block back up because of all the bleeds. And now we're using the last hit of our invul boost. And we're like, okay, this is under control. We're fine. And then over here, I don't know why I did this, but I'm gonna combo her and I'm gonna not stop my combo. And <laughs> um, yeah, you're supposed to stop your combo before the last light attack and then um, hard block. But then for some reason I finished my combo and then yeah, you can see things are just going extremely far downhill and it's not it's not well. She has she's had her spell up this whole time. So she's going to throw this which you know, I'm going to survive the hit because I have my greater special three defense boost on. So I'm not going to die from the special three hit. It's not going to do that much damage. But it's the Heimdall. <laughs> the Heimdall trigger. She reflected all the damage I did to her during while the spell was active back to me. So shout out to Heimdall for watching my back, bro. Because I would have been dead there 100% without the goat Heimdall on the team. Um, now we, we finished her. But, you know, that was 
that was definitely a fight. Um, yeah, it was going very, very well for like up until where was it? Up until this point, bro. Like she was, she was done for. Um, like it was going so clean, so clean. And then I finished my combo, and I didn't drop my special one like an idiot. I think I wanted to push. I, I don't know what I was thinking, bro. I. I don't know what I was thinking. But yeah, once she starts throwing special ones, you're cooked. You're just so cooked. Um, yeah. I, yeah. Y'all know the vibes. But shout out to Heimdall for watching her back. We didn't die. We ended up winning the war. You know the vibes. Um, yeah, so GG's TCN, man. It was it was a short war, only three fights, but it was very, very stressful. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, that was fun um hopefully we don't have to fight enchantress again bro because she's she's kind of mean kind of mean but yeah appreciate y'all watching catch you guys in the next one